All right, Pisces, welcome to your weekly sidereal astrology forecast for September 28th through the 4th of October. My name is Athen. This is, of course, for sidereal astrology. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check the description down below for more information because your sign might be different. So Pisces, we just had a lunar eclipse in your first house um, on Sunday coming into this week. In fact, there's not a whole lot of transits going on this week, which is giving me the indication that it's a lot about integrating this very spiritual lunar eclipse that is taking place late Sunday um, night, early Monday for a lot of us. And especially Monday and Tuesday, we'll be integrating it. So for you, it's in your first house. So it's it's your house. You know, it's the house of that intuition, of that reflection, that inner uh, spiritual connectedness to um, all that is. And through that, um, you'll be gaining a tremendous amount of understanding about yourself, about your own personal intuition, and um, the things that are meaningful to you. You know, the first house is everything that... Um, you want in life that you feel like is a sort of desire that is, uh, you know, for you a noble thing because it's, you know, it's the energies of Pisces. It's very uh, collective. It's it's what's good for you is good for everyone involved, that kind of an energy. So whatever it is you're reflecting on about yourself, it could be your self-image. It could be your goals, um, your drives, your ambitions, things like that. Um, it's a great time to reflect on the self. And the reason for that is because it's involving this life path energy, which for you is about relationships. So the more you understand about yourself, you know, last weekend and the early part of this week, and you're reflecting on that, it's only more fuel for the fire in order for you to continue to move forward with your one-on-one -on -one connections, relationships. Again, this is all types of connections. Um, this has been the North Node transiting this seventh house of yours for the past two years. And now the seventh house is going to be activated from that lunar eclipse, but also with Mercury retrograde, the Sun, and Saturn. So let me go and show you what I'm talking about. Um, the only two aspects this week is Saturn sextiling that North Node. Um, in that seventh and the sun is going to conjunct a retrograde mercury in that seventh so really activating as it has been um, the relationship sphere this week now mercury's retrograde so a lot of you are you know reflecting on those one-on-one -on -one connections redoing restructuring uh, thinking about it you know and it's a great time to sort of experiment and try new things you know whether it's with new relationships existing relationships and uh, through that there's a tremendous amount of uh, you know stuff you're learning about yourself and others. So treat it as that learning process. I think you'll find that very valuable. Also continue to reflect on matters relating to your home and family, which I think will lack, likely be taking place. And now with the sun going over Mercury, it's a lot of insight about that. And the insight will probably be um, not only involving those relationships and maybe home and family matters, but your routine. Um, there's been a lot of activity in your sixth house. Um, and the sun rules that sixth house going over Mercury can really help you see, you know, that what's, you know, the matter, what, what's happening in that particular area, uh, the truth of the matter. Now, Venus is here, so you can be enjoying uh, the routine stuff, but it could be very busy for you right now at the moment. So it is and has been very important for you to get that alone time, that spiritual time. Uh, but there's a lot of ambition. There's a lot of motivation here to be utilized in the daily sphere. It could be at work. It could be about taking care of things or whatever it might be. It might be your health and diet. Um, Jupiter here is creating plenty of opportunities, has been for the past few months, and will continue for about the next nine months here in this sixth house so there's still plenty of uh energy here and i think it's uh, this week really about understanding more about the importance of time management health management while balancing that with the rest and relaxation understanding more about yourself and channeling that into just naturally it'll just naturally happen into healthier long-lasting you know mutual types of relationships whether it's romantic otherwise and, and that's what it is it's really just all types of relationships in your life so uh, that energy will be um, that Wednesday. And also Wednesday, Saturn is sextiling that north node. So here, uh, Saturn is about to go into Scorpio, where he's going to stay for the next two years, um, here this early part of October. So we should all be feeling this shift. And for you, it's Saturn coming out of a much more serious part of the chart, which is about transformation and change and depth, and going into the expansive part of your chart. So this is where I think a lot of you will just take more seriously maybe your philosophy, uh, maybe matters relating to travel and expanding those horizons. And that's great. For the next two years, it's about building solid foundations, learning more about wisdom of life, you know, treating life as a serious yet adventurous, you know, energy. And through that, you can not only learn a lot, but you'll be building a stronger sense of self and understanding, which uh, will only be uh, 
you know, again, sort of linking the ninth house to the other areas of your life. So in other words, through that wisdom, it could certainly benefit your work. Through that wisdom, it'll be benefiting your relationships, etc. So um, that's the shift. And I think um, Saturn going into Scorpios, it's just things just get a uh, little bit more um, disciplined with the things that normally would be very spirited, adventurous, and <clears throat> kind of you know, passionate, but um, it is taking it seriously and really having that maturity to maybe understand more about life and about yourself and those kinds of things. So that'll be a shift, and that's very supportive this week with Saturn sex dialing up to the North Node. Again, more fuel to the fire for you to connect one-on-one -on -one relationships, and if it isn't anything tangible, it's just reflecting on how you see relationships, you know, that kind of sphere, your perspective on them, and uh, you know, this is new, new and existing ones and just all types of one-on-one -on -one connections. So the high point this week, I feel like is certainly going to be this lunar eclipse, the early part of the week. So all of this awareness of self is just, um, you know, more energy for you to uh, maybe put into that health and routine and diet in a balanced way and to uh, connect and maybe have that new paradigm shift and perspective shift in terms of your one-on-one -on -one connections this week. So Pisces, have a great one. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you all next time. Take care.